you see? <laughs> that looks good. Get your Hello everyone and welcome to my channel called Demon Story Time. Thank you so much guys for coming, for your likes, comments, for your donations, for any kind of support to my channel. It's highly appreciated. Today we keep reading Grimm's Fairy Tale book and our story is called The Bremen Town Musicants. Once upon a time, a man had a donkey. <laughs> which he used to carry his corn sack to the Nile. But after the donkey had worked hard for many years, his strength began to fail and he walked more and more. Slowly, with his heavy loads, the donkey realized that the man would soon get rid of him, so he decided to run away. Smart donkey. He said. <laughs> he set out on the road for a town called Bremen. I might be able to earn my living there as a musician, he thought to himself. A donkey as a musician. Lovely. The donkey had not gone far when he found an old dog lying in the road, looking sad. I have grown old and can no longer herd sheep. The dog explained, so my master kicked me out. Come with me said the donkey kindly i'm going to the town of bremen to be a musician you can be in my band i'll play guitar and you play the drums oh thank you said the dog cheering up and off they went down the road together before too long they met a cat Longing on the path, looking very fed up. I have grown old and can no longer catch mice, the cat explained, so my masters threw me out. Come with us, said the donkey kindly. We are going to Bremen to form a band. You can play the tin whistle. Gladly, replied the cat breaking into a big smile and off they went down the road once more Present, presently they come to a farmyard the cook girl was sitting on the gate there is a lovely what the cooker sitting on the gate If he's coming with them as well. Growing for all he was worth. He cook doesn't like my voice. The cook. The cooker explained to them sadly. She's going to cook me for soup tonight. So I'm growing while I still can. Come with us, said the donkey kindly. We are Musicians going to Bremen. You can sing with our band. Cook a doodle do yay, cried the cooker. Quite delighted, and all four went on their way together. They were too far from Bremen to reach the town that evening, so they thought they would spend the night in a forest. The donkey and the dog lay down under a large tree. The cat and the cuckoo settled themselves in the branches. But the cuckoo <clears throat> flew right to the top. Before he went to sleep, he looked around him and thought he saw a little light in the 
distance. There must be a house over there, he called to his friend, and they decided to head for it. Looking for trouble, I guess. So they made their way towards the light and soon come to a little house. The donkey went to the window and looked in because he was the biggest. Oh my goodness, he gasped. There is a table covered with all sorts of good things to eat and drink. And sitting all around it are a gang of robbers. Then the animals put their heads together to see how they might be able to drive away the robbers so they could have the meal for themselves. Here they are, planning here and looking to the window. At last they thought of a plan, the donkey put his front hooves, hooves upon the window. Let the dog jumped up on the donkey's back. The cat climbed upon the dog and the good girl perched on the cat. Then they all performed their music together. <laughs> the donkey brayed, the dog barked, the cat meowed and the good girl crowed. And they burst through the window into the room so that the glass clattered. Startled by this horrible din, the robber sprang up, thinking that a ghost <laughs> had come in and they fled in a great fright out into the forest. The four companions were very pleased. With themselves, they sat down at the table and ate their fill. Then they each found a resting place and lay down for a good sleep. The donkey settled upon some straw into their yard. The dog curled up behind the back door and the cat stretched out beside the kitchen fire. And the cockerel perched himself upon a beam of the roof. But the robbers were waiting a little distance off, watching the house. When they saw that the candles were out and everything appeared quiet, the robber captain said, we shouldn't have been so frightened, and ordered one of the gang to go and search the house for the ghost. They all pushed the youngest robber forward, and off he went into the dar darkness. Quietly, nervously, he tiptoed up to the house. He gently pushed open the door and went into the kitchen to light a candle. But the cat heard the crack of the door and woke up. In the darkness, the robber thought the cat's glowing eyes were close on the fire. He went over to light a match from the coals and at once the cat flew in his face, spitting and scratching. The robber was dreadfully frightened and ran to the back door but the dog sprang up and bit him on the leg the robber leaped out of doors but as he ran across the yard by the straw head he the donkey gave him a smart kick with its hind foot. 
The cockerel too had been awakened by the noise and cried down from the beam. Cooka doo doo doo. Then the robber ran back as fast as he could to his captain and said, There is a horrible witch sitting in the house who spat on me and scratched my face <laughs> with her long claws. By the back door stood a man with a knife who stabbed me in the leg. In the yard lies a monster who beat, beat me with a wooden club and above on the roof sat a ghost who creased and wailed. After this the robbers never dared go back to the house again. But it suited the four musicians of Bremen so well that they stayed living there happily for the rest of their days. Yeah, that's it my dears. Thank you very much for coming. See you next time. Bye.